Before adding any word to a device, you want to make sure that the word is not already on the device in a specific folder. So to do that, go to the keyboard and to Word Finder and type in the word. So for the, the example I'm going to do today is adding restaurant names to this device. And I'm going to start by searching for McDonald's. So McDonald's is already on the device. This is the path to get to the word McDonald's. You go to places, restaurant, McDonald's, and to make it quicker so you find it easily, it'll highlight it if you just touch that right there, then touch places. See, everything else is grayed out, so you can't actually go anywhere else. Restaurant and then McDonald's. So McDonald's. It shows you how to get there. So now I want to add Big Judd's, and I can see that the restaurants that are already on here are Burger King, Chick-fil-A, McDonald's, Pizza Hut, Taco Bell, Wendy's, and Chinese. So I'm going to add Big Judd's. So to do this, I start by going to the menu button, then hit edit page, and then I'll see a red toolbar at the top that shows me that I'm in edit mode. And then I'll select an empty button where I want to add the word, and then I hit edit this button and go to the button label and I'm gonna add Big Judd's. Whatever I add under button label will show up under button message. If I want those to be different, I have to edit the button message separately. But in this instance, I want them the same. So to check and make sure that the device is saying the word correctly, I can hit pronounce. Big Judd's. And then it said it correctly, so I don't have to change anything. And then I can select an image. If I want an in, uh, a clip art, I can search their clip art library and find a word that is uh, similar to Big Judd's, like hamburger, french fries, whatever you might think the student loves at Big Judd's. And then this would be the image for Big Judd's. However, if I want to have an actual picture, then when programming student devices, you can't usually access the internet. So you'll want to search for Big Judd's on your own laptop or on another iPad or device. The phone works too. So I already searched for it and I found an image I like. So now I'll take the iPad. I'll go, I'm still in edit mode, so I just go to edit this button. And then I'm going to scroll down to where it says use camera and select that. And then I'm gonna take a picture of Big Judd's. Oh, there we go. And then select, or you know, take the picture. Not the best picture, <laughs> bear with me guys. Um, and kind of try to edit it into that box. And then hit use photo. And then hit done. And then I'm gonna fix this one. There we go. Use. I just edited the picture to look better. There we go. And then everything else is fine. We want it to be visible. Um, you know, we don't need to change anything else. We just hit save. And then it'll show big jets. And hopefully you'll be able to take a better picture than I was able to <laughs> with my hand holding my phone and trying to hold the iPad at the same time. So now it shows you Big Judd's. You're still in edit mode though, so to hear how it sounds when you've, after you've added the button, you need to hit done and then you can hear Big Judd's. how it sounds and see how it does the window and that's how you add it. And then uh, if you want to add more restaurants, you'd keep going back to the right folder, sorry, which was places, restaurant, and then adding more to that page by hitting menu edit page and editing the button.